As the first woman of Saudi origin to work with NASA, Michelle Hashim Imri knows a thing or two about breaking barriers. Now she's bringing her diversity expertise to the IAF and is in studio now with more on the organization's new diversity initiatives. So first of all, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, I want to start from uh, where we are. Uh, what are the numbers you see when it comes to diversity within the space community? When you look at technical roles, it's about 33% across uh, all segments. So for example, uh, below 20% 20, 20 you'll see thir about 33% or a little bit less than 33%. Between 21% uh, and 39% you're going to see a little bit higher than 33% uh, of women. And so you want to kind of push that number even further so that you have a higher number or 50% that are within uh, technical roles. Then when you look at executive roles, that's where you see a drastic difference, that the majority of the respondents are uh, below 20%, and that's what you want to push. So when we look at these elements, we try to push for it and then have them commit to KPIs like, hey, I'm going to try to improve next year by increasing it, let's say 5% or 10% and so forth. So that's the objective of this type of initiative. And uh, what can you tell us about the IAF's 3G that we know stands for Geography, Generation and Gender Initiatives? So we look at the three Gs, uh, Geography, Generation and Gender, because we want to be more inclusive at the IAF and we want the aerospace community to be more inclusive. You will see a lot of tendency in some cases for seniority. So people with a lot more experience tend to take on the majority of the roles, which makes sense because it's like, oh, I need more experience. But the idea of what we're trying to do is to establish like uh, organizational uh, mentorships and so forth to kind of bring in the young uh, people to be under the tutelage of the more experienced individuals to be able to understand complex situations and participate in more technical uh, roles. Geography is a little bit more complicated. As an organization like the IAF, we can be more geographically diverse and we try to bring in from other sectors. But when you look at each country and their capabilities and their industries, sometimes it becomes a little bit difficult because you have some export control restrictions that prevent them from dealing with certain countries and so forth. But you want to see them working with other countries uh, across the globe, which is what's happening in the aerospace community. You've seen a lot of missions that cannot be done alone, so you'll have a lot of collaboration. But you want to bring in collaboration from other like emerging uh, space countries. When you look at the gender, as we addressed earlier, gender is critical. We want to grow that. We want to not only have women, more women come into the aerospace uh, sector, but we also want to retain them. because. We have a, an entry and a retention problem in the aerospace community, and we want to change that uh, for the betterment of the entire organization, to, uh, all the organizations in space, to be more diverse. Can you tell us more um, on what is the role of the IAF IDEA Committee? Our goal is to start initiatives that will help move the needle uh, when it comes to diversity, inclusiveness, and we're looking not only at 3G, we're looking 3G plus, and so that includes uh, people with alternative abilities, it includes all the other elements that cannot just be mainly gender, geography, and generation. So our goal is to come up with initiatives, our goal is to execute initiatives. What will be your message to young generation or to young women approaching the space sector? Uh, so one, uh, you're going to have to fight regardless for yourself and for the people after you. And so we have to collectively, uh, because it accumulates and that's how we make a change. Number two is STEM is a beautiful and an amazing um, you know, career path for all of us. And we have a lot of brilliant women out there and brilliant people in general, even young people that are extremely brilliant. And our space community, uh, while it, there we have some challenges, we are trying really hard to be more inclusive, to bring in all these great minds together. And it's an amazing place to flourish. Once you start doing missions to explore the moon and you see the passion in the people around you, that's really what drives us all. Okay, so thank you so much, Michelle, for the interesting conversation. Thank you so much.